going on guys? Uh, tonight we're going to be talking about the 906 Vortec uh, versus the 906 Mexican Vortec. So these are um, a later casting of the Vortec head. Um, these are often found on GM crate motors or the ones you buy from GM like a reproduction head are typically all cast in Mexico now. The original ones that would have came on the trucks uh, from 96 on uh, Vortex 350 L31s, uh, they were all uh, actually casted in Canada, I believe. So uh, I've got a few comments from guys uh, regarding the flow numbers on my 906 Vortex heads, as you can see here in, uh, in the dark blue. Um, on the intake side and a lot of guys say those aren't uh, normal vortex flow because it doesn't fall off you know between 450 and 500 like a lot of the flow numbers you see posts online do uh, which I actually thought was surprising too when I originally flowed them but then I have the flow numbers from a set of Mexican vortex so these are like I said the later casted ones in yellow here and you can see they show the typical what you see online flow numbers for the Vortec heads. So these are the later casting. Um, from what I understand, GM revised the uh, Vortec heads a couple times uh, to help with cracking. Uh, the decks were changed a little bit. And I think somewhere in that line, the flow changed on the Vortec heads. So you can actually see here, uh, th th this is uh, this 906, this is the one I showed you before in blue. Uh, this is off a 97 Yukon, I believe. I pulled the heads off, so I know it came off a stock uh, head uh, or stock engine. Uh, it wasn't ported. It wasn't anything. I floated just the way it was. We we did two different ports and got pretty much the same flow numbers untouched. And these are the ones that I've been messing with too and porting with. And uh, I was just got out of the shop, so I'm still I'm still playing with that. If you guys are wondering what's going on there, I'm still I'm still porting in. Uh, just things are a little slow right now with everything going on, trying to get back and forth and drop things off to the flow bench. Um, so it's, I'm still working because I want to make sure I do it right for you guys because I have learned a few things uh, when you're dealing with Vortex from you know 200 to the 450, you can really negatively affect the head. So I'm trying to get all the little bugs worked out to get the most flow uh, in here and and up here. So, um, that being said, I wanted to tell you guys about these Mexican Vortec heads. So, the Mexican Vortec heads on the exhaust side, uh, it's not fair 100% because these have the hardened seat. So, you do lose about 10 CFM. And I actually had these heads here ported. So, that's why I have the flow numbers for them stock like this. And I'm going to show you in a, in a minute uh, the flow numbers of them ported to compare. Uh, but the three angles on the exhaust seat will bring this up 10 CFMs alone just doing that. So um, we we went ahead and did that too, but I'm going to show you the, the full port numbers and it was just like a street port stage one sort of thing. It wasn't like ported to the max, but uh, Bill did a really nice job on them to help, uh, you know, not lose that mid-range lift and uh, gain up top without, you know, getting or with getting rid of this drop off right here. Uh, so th this is very interesting, I found, uh, and I kind of compared this information once once I kind of figured this out, that there was a difference in flow uh, from the, the 906 Vortex to the Mexican Vortex. And you actually, say, you actually see on the Vortex heads, if you get them off like a crate motor, and that's exactly where I got these ones off of, was off a crate motor, and it actually will say like, Heco to Mexico on them. Um, other than that, they look pretty much the same. But... Uh, there was a few rev like revision uh, versions, I guess you can say, of uh, the Vortec head apparently, uh, and I don't really see a lot of information on this, but I did get this off one of the top porters websites, uh, and I might contact him further about that. Uh, this is not the Bowtie Vortec head. There's also a Bowtie Vortec head, which is um, you know more for racing and they can get ported but what what he found is the Mexican Vortec heads will flow about 215 CFM so I got uh, these ones peaked out for me at 220 CFM at 500 lift so he typically gets around 215 he said uh, and then when he does his uh, undercover stage one porting 
he'll get about 235. So I'll show you in a minute what, what uh, Billy got out of these. And then if, as far as the exhaust, uh, he finds he gets on the stock about 145, uh, which is, I get I got 140, uh, and then ported, he gets uh, 165 with the, with, that's what the CNC undercover porting, uh, undercover porting is, um, it's sort of like porting in a disguise for the guys that are doing racing that they're supposed to be running stock heads. It's kind of one of those things. I think a lot of guys do it, but I don't think you're really supposed to. So, um, but I just wanted that information to kind of compare to see, you know, if other people are, are finding this, uh, this drop uh, in the Vortec flow when it comes to the Mexican versus the the regular 906 Vortec heads. And I guess it, it, what the trade-off is, these Mexican ones flow less, but they're less prone to cracking, not only in the exhaust seats, um, but in the decks as well. So, so here you go. Uh, here's the Mexican ported Vortec heads in uh, green. So um, Billy did a nice job from 200 on. Uh, they basically start taking off. This is the this is the important spot in, in between here and here. So actually exactly where the these heads are working is where you want to see the flow on a Vortec head. This is the most important area because you know everyone kind of looks at the peak flow and I, I'm gonna talk about this more in another video, but in here is is the more important part because the the valve is is in this area a lot more than it is when you have a 500 left cam, you're only gonna hit this spot once. So, but you can see he picked up really good flow across the board, but considering uh, the blue line in between here is a, is a stock non-ported head, uh, it's actually doing quite well even versus the Mexican ported head. Uh, but again, your trade-off is you know a lot more chances of cracking. And then uh, you go to the exhaust side, same kind of thing. Uh, Billy did a nice job. Kind of just end up and end up just matching in a lot of the ways, uh, pretty close to the the stock 906 casted uh, production head, uh, other than this dip here. But I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. Actually, um, when I was doing some flow testing, I was able to get rid of this dip, which I thought was kind of weird, uh, with a little bit of valve unshrouding on the exhaust side, and uh, that's a little kind of a sneak peek of what I'm what I'm going to be doing and what I've uh, been kind of messing with but uh, the valve unshrouding actually got rid of this dip completely and uh, you know kind of resembled more this ported Mexican Vortec line on this uh, stock 906 head so I'm still playing with that I'm trying to get my hands on another set of the Mexican uh, ported heads or sorry the Mexican uh, stock uh, casting heads and I'm also working on getting myself a set of uh, 305 Vortec heads. I should have those pretty soon because uh, uh, I know a lot of guys have been asking about the 305 heads, the 059s and stuff. So I'm going to get a set of those and uh, and do some flow on them. I've actually never flowed a set of um, 305 uh, Vortec heads. So it's going to be interesting to see are we going to get this kind of dip or are we, you know, and then we can compare the flow numbers between uh, the 906s and the 059s and see what uh, what kind of flow numbers and if they are they going to follow the same pattern just maybe a little less flow because they do have a smaller valve are they going to flow better down low I don't know we'll find out so that's going to be pretty interesting to see so there you go guys uh, the 906 vortex versus the Mexican vortex uh, quite a difference in uh, flow you know 20 plus CFM on the intake and the exhaust uh, you know at different points there so that's uh, quite a bit and then uh, there's some ported ones for you to compare them uh, so I wanted to tell you also about those Mexican Vortec heads uh, they ended up on a motor I built for a guy for a Chevelle nice little street motor uh, the guy beats the crap out of this thing I mean bounces off the rev limiter burnouts uh, you just name it and then the motor's been taking it great and the thing runs great uh, but just like any hot rodder always looking for more power so uh, we're talking about this year um, he was talking about maybe going big block or 
you know, doing this. And I think what he was going to end up doing is keeping the the Vortec 355 because it, it is a strong runner and good running motor. And I think we're going to be throwing a Torque Storm supercharger on this thing. So uh, I'm really excited about that. So we'll probably do uh, I'll do a little bit. I probably won't do a full install, but I'll do like an unboxing about uh, about it and uh, some and maybe even some uh, dyno. Uh, some dyno sessions. I told the guy he understands the motor wasn't built for boost. Uh, it, it has cast uh, or hyper pistons in it. I did when I built it put it a little extra ring gap, uh, so he should be fine there. And uh, he's also switching the Holly Sniper fuel injection, so that should help uh, with runnability and keeping the tune really safe on it. Uh, so I told him it's a it's a gamble. You know he wants over 500 horse, so we'll see. This is uh, um cast uh, one piece rear main crank uh, it's got the powder metal rods in hyper pistons so we'll see how it goes I, I, I'm excited to try and I'm um, hoping if we can do a safe tune on it that the thing will hold up quite well for him uh, even though he does drive the crap out of it also guys uh, make sure to please like and subscribe I am doing a pretty awesome giveaway for the Vortec fans when I hit 4,000 subscribers so uh, if you do like this content and you do like the Vortec heads, make sure you ring the bell down below and hit the subscribe button uh, because for my subscribers, I will be giving out a pretty sweet prize, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, so, thanks guys.